First at five, and new at five, it made national headlines when a New Orleans cop ordered the murder of a mother of three for coming forward to report police misconduct. To mark the 20 year anniversary of Kim Groves' death, the Office of the Independent Police Monitor is now calling on the NOPD to review its current retaliation policy and procedures in a new report. Reporter Andy Cunningham is live with us right now with more on what's in the report that was released this afternoon. Andy. The report is 25 pages long, Camille, and lays out some changes the police monitor's office believes should be made to the department's retaliation policy. They claim in this report still needs some work. Many people still remember the shocking murder for hire that led to the shooting death of Kim Groves, a ninth ward mother of three, who a day before she was executed by a hitman ordered by New Orleans police officer Len Davis, reported Davis and his partner for police brutality. In this report, released Friday, 20 years to the month following the 32 year old's death, the independent police monitor is requesting the NOPD take a good hard look at its current retaliation policy and procedures. The way to stop retaliation is to not be afraid of it and to speak out. Once you speak out, I can do something about it. If I don't hear about it, there's not too much I can do. Independent police monitor Susan Hudson said the perception that employees and civilians do not report misconduct out of fear or retaliation creates public distrust of the department. In her office's report, they break down the allegations into two categories, retaliation against NOPD employees and retaliation against members of the community. From 2011 to 2013, they received 26 reports of retaliation inside the NOPD and 63 reports of retaliation or fear of retaliation from the public. And now, while the NOPD is revising all of its policies and procedures, now's the time to get on this retaliation policy and make changes. And this isn't something the NOPD is shying away from. The monitor's office acknowledged today they are working closely with the department and its new chief, Michael Harrison, in an effort to come up with better ways to address and prevent retaliation. Scott. Andy, thanks. And this coming Monday, the NOPD is expected to join the police monitor's office at a public forum inside city council chambers to discuss the policy. And a police spokesperson says they'll use the feedback from the community when putting together the new policy. That meeting starts at 530.